Today we're watching Billy the Exterminator. You thought there were some cool dudes on a &E TV. Well, you haven't seen this cool dude. This guy is the coolest. Wild animals taking over your backyard. Good grief. Wow. Nature is a beast that must be reckoned with. Look how they- look, look, at the, look at this hair on this man. Look at this. Wow. Look at- wow. <laughs> It gets cooler than that. Wow. Because like it or not- What the hell was that? The battle for survival will look, look, look at him. He's about to drop a rock album after he takes care of them pests in your house. <laughs> Billy <laughs> got the got the mullet, got like the glasses. Ted's gonna come out and start helping him. Will come. <laughs> this is my business. Yeah, go. Yeah, got the got the black streaks. Business. The, the you married hair. into it. He's, you, know, he, <laughs> you married into it. What are they talking about right now? What's the drama? You know, it's, this is gonna be one of those. This is one of those older shows. I think it's from like <laughs> I think it's from the earlier two thousands. I think maybe not. But to where they like huh. literally just stage drama, you know? <laughs> oh, God. It's going to be great. <laughs> They're in Louisiana. Snakes. Oh, look, 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 he's even got like, like his own brand here. He's got his <laughs> shirt on, got the stones, got the freaking belt on. Out nice. there, he's taking care of business. This is Billy. Yeah, Billy. Who's this lady? Who is Donnie, that? Billy's mom. Billy's mom. <laughs> Who's this guy? Oh, Big Bill, Billy's dad. Well, wow, it doesn't. It didn't, nice. And uh, what do you think? Okay, all right, yeah. The other Bill. And that's his brother. And that's his wife, Mary. Look how cool they are. Look at those belt buckles, <laughs> man. They're cool. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if they're exterminators or if this is like a biker gang or, a, or terminator, <laughs> yeah, vampire cult. I'm not too sure what's going on here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I have a job for you. Oh, oh, cool. What you got? Cool, Mom. Yeah, I was just here with my whole camera crew. We got the shots from the outside the truck, inside the truck. I'm wired up. What you got? I got some beavers. Beavers? Cutting down some trees, and it's gotten kind of dangerous because somebody could really get hurt over there. Right. <laughs> somebody could really get hurt over there. Some beavers are cutting trees as they do, but someone could get hurt. You better go in there and save them, Billy. Work order, private residence, beaver chewing through trees, falling trees, creating a safety hazard. <laughs> I mean, ima imagine <laughs> how many people in the existence of the planet Earth do you think have been crushed by a tree that a beaver is chewing on right beside them? Oh, gosh. It, it can't be a big number, but I guarantee they're all in Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. The three times this ever happened has been in Louisiana. It's like it's like a cartoon character over there. Like, you know, you're walking through the beavers they're chewing on the tree, not running away or anything, making it fall on you. Yeah. Ooh, hello. Billy with Vexcon. Y'all are having trouble with uh, some beavers, I hear. I like how they, they tell them to come on in, and they're just upstairs. What were they doing? Oh, we've got a big beaver right. problem. <laughs> we've got a big beaver problem, he says. And she's giving that look like, oh, yeah, big old beaver. Is this an innuendo of some kind? <laughs> what is this? A what? big beaver problem. But now that they're moving on to uh, a, lot, a lot of trees that I, that I don't want, uh, you know, gone, they're, they're, they're destroying. Oh, now it all comes out. Now, now we get the real story. It's not a safety hazard. Those are the trees that he don't want them to be cutting down. He's got to deal with them. Those are, those are his favorite trees. Those are his favorite trees, like that one right there. His grandma planted that tree. It's gone now. He's mad. Revenge. <laughs> Which with any other Southerner would just, you know, maybe, maybe he's got a soft heart, but they'd be on their back porch. Ready, scoped in. Yeah. Be see, see beaver, shoot beaver. Here he comes. Dun 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 dun. Oh, they're dens with. There we go. Here's uh, one they've been chewing on. Yeah, look at that sucker. It's been gnawed on. Wow. Beaver probably would have finished the job too if the camera crew didn't show up. <laughs> it always falls on the road. Every time I come down here, there's another tree that has fallen, and guess where it's fallen? Right in the right middle of in your the road. Is there? Where's the road at next to this tree? Is it nearby? <laughs> that's a tall tree, Ken. All right, that's <laughs> like I don't know a lot about beavers, but you know they chop down the trees and they they use them to like make their dens close in, like, in the water. So I imagine they would be eating on trees close to the water, not all the way out by the road. But what do I know? <laughs> I am I am just a simple YouTuber. This is the area where I saw them when I was laying out. Huh? <laughs> So yeah, I was laying out getting tan in my bathing suit, you know, looking fine. And I saw me one of them beavers out there. You know, Billy's like, oh, yes, tell me more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where at again? Where yeah, at yeah. exactly? Uh, on the shoreline here? Yes. I wonder, I wonder yeah. I, 
just looking around. I wonder where there could be a beaver. I don't know. Do you see anything? I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe where all the sticks are piled up. I don't know. Joe Holly has this property so he and his kids can come here and relax and enjoy the wilderness. Oh, that's not what he said. You guys are saying that for him. <laughs> I want to come out here and enjoy the, enjoy the wilderness, but not that part of the wilderness. That, that natural part, them beavers? No. No, no. Billy is going to catch them and, and release them somewhere else, and, and hopefully they'll have a happy home there. Yeah, whatever, Southern man. I know you would, you would be jumping at the opportunity to shoot these beavers but just for the show that's why these beavers are still alive all right that man had the grill fired up and ready to go <laughs> the beaver den was pretty far back on the property so mr holly let me use his four-wheeler to get my traps over to the beaver den four-wheeler what the side by side what is that, a four-wheeler what are you talking about let me use his golf cart here you know get his gator out right this when, you, when you're southern you're a southern guy and you say a four-wheeler you're talking about an atv you're talking about you know the, these suckers right here this is what you're talking about you know, then you got your your side by side, uh, which is more of like what he's driving in right now, like one of these things right here. Yep. Yeah. Him, him calling it a four wheeler. Mm -mm. Yeah, you're fired. You're fired. Fake, <laughs> fake Southerner. You're not even from Louisiana. Get out of here. I'm ready to go. Dang. Wading through the chiggers and rattlesnakes to go find the beaver here. No telling what he's gonna find, guys. <laughs> Hang on to your butts. Now the chiggers are that's serious business. Yeah, you know, look, chiggers are, are serious business. Okay, those things are freaking god. Woo. I guess I'm going to explain that to the people who don't know what they are either. So little red things right here, they get on you, they bite you, and man, they are itchy. What the hell was that? There went something. Oh my, uh-oh. Oh my gosh. That was a hiss and some water. Like the frog that was nearby just jumped in the water. <laughs> what the hell was that? Was that? Did I just see it before it even like zoomed in? Was it right there here? Was that the beaver? What, what is it? Is it even? Four legs. It looks like a little baby deer. Possum? What is that? I swear it looks like a possum. He's just hopping Is in. Is it a little baby deer? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it's not, a, it's not a beaver. That's for sure. <laughs> as soon as I got right on top of it, I jumped to pounce, and all of a sudden I realized that's not a beaver. It's a baby deer. It is a baby deer. Oh, okay. yeah. A little baby deer. Oh, poor <laughs> little baby. I thought they were trying to be sneaky with the editing and like say, oh my God, that was a snake. But now there's a little baby deer. He's like, oh my God. Would have been great if I could have just jumped right in and caught that beaver with my bare hands. My bare hands. Catch a beaver with your bare hands. I mean, I God see dang. It. Some beaver teeth, you know? You want to go grab at one oh. of these things, man? You, you see what they do to the, I mean, <sighs> you see what they do to the trees? You just want to go grab one? Mm. This spot right here seems to be the main area where the beaver's going in and out. I don't know what gave me that clue. Maybe, it's all, the, maybe it's all the sticks. Then I'm going to take some beaver lure and bait the traps with it just to try to lure the beavers out of the den and into my traps. <laughs> His beaver lure. Do you think it's wood? This apples. <laughs> so what let is, me tell what you what this beaver lure is. Be beaver, beaver lure. Comes from the gland of the male beaver. Oh, man. This apples. Put the allure in the traps. The females think there's another available male in the area. Either way, it works out for us, and we get our beaver. Bunch of horny beavers out here. <laughs> it's always interesting, like like lures, like like deer and everything. Like when you're trying to get them, it's all about pheromones and like the the sexual aspect of the animals to like lure them in. Just imagine, you know, you're out there and like you're you're, you're walking around out in the street, Dane, and you know some sexy ladies like ooh come here you know like you know show any little skin you're like oh you kind of come over and then someone shoots you you know <laughs> ever tries to come out of his den he'll swim right through my hoop and uh it'll start to uh tighten up as he swims away and then he drowns yes perfect <laughs> all right beavers you better snag your last meal before i snag you <laughs> got him wow. tell me what a shit i am so i can hurry up and come home finish the big long five hour fight tonight so i can get to bed and start over again tomorrow jeez man what a terrible argument over here just like go ahead and just waste my time and now we have billy's failing marriage <laughs> What about the beavers? <laughs> can, you, <laughs> can you put a trap for that? <laughs> we all see when it comes to Mary. It's being manipulated, but Billy doesn't see it. He's being manipulated? Oh, God. I mean, look, the dude's got freaking like alcohol bottles on top of his cabinet. He's still in freaking college right now. Like, uh, there's a globe on the refrigerator. <laughs> Nothing makes sense already. You have to go back, don't you? Yeah. 
Well, okay, well, are they about to like pretend that she has a problem with his job? Definitely putting a strain on her marriage. If I'm not here every day, if I'm not here every night, she doesn't know what's going on in my head. She doesn't know if I'm out gallivanting around on her. Well, I mean, are you? Are you? <laughs> Does she have a reason to suspect this? Are you calling her? Right. Are you checking in? Or are you living like your rock you star don't life? Come home at night. <laughs> like, what do you mean? You literally, you, like, look at you. You literally scream that you need attention, and you're worried that she don't trust you when you're not at the house. I mean, ah. Uh... <laughs> when I start fighting with Mary about where have I been and what I'm doing, I just get frustrated. He gets frustrated, not even frustrated. Just he gets frustrated. He gets so frustrated. Frustrated. Good thing the camera crew is here to catch this real argument they're having in real time. You know, the only time they ever get to talk, and they're all here for it. <laughs> My wife hasn't seen me enough, and she's sick of it, and I can't go out to help you. You forgot my anniversary this year. It is not a f Ouch. You gotta try, Billy. Jeez, man. You forgot her anniversary. <laughs> I like how he's like downplaying it too. Oh, sorry, my wife, my the one I married, needs me, you know, to remember her anniversary so I can't go catch her beavers. Oh, yeah. You want me to tell them that? <laughs> They're emergency out here. Beavers are eating trees. They're eating trees right now, man. Don't you understand? <laughs> His daughter's out there sunbathing and she's seeing beavers. And I'm a saver. You know, like. <laughs> I gotta, gotta give her a ride on the side by side. Wow. Ugh. Even though it's staged as crap, that's just dumb. When Billy comes home, he wants peace. So if you're gonna be yapping and yelling in his ear, you better be careful because one day the locks may be changed. <laughs> He's gonna kick her out of the house? What a bunch of god dang gat. What is. <laughs> wow. What a morbid message. What is she wrong with this family? He loves his peace. You know, like <laughs> warning her and stuff. You know what? Yeah. When he gets home, he expects you to be quiet, make him a sandwich, iron his clothes. <laughs> so what he forgot? And tell him where the next beaver den is. <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, what, what is this? Jeez, man. It's always great when I can bring her out on a job with me. That way, oh. I can be with my wife and get some work done. Oh, so he's taking her out on the job now. That's how he's going to make up for it. They're going to go on a right. date, a.k.a. go to work. On the side-by-side. -side. Well, I did a wasp job. Now he's got freaking, like, leather... Is he an archer? What is, what is, okay. This dude just lives in freaking Hot Topic, man. I swear to God. Whatever they got, he, he's wearing it. They can't live there anymore. And they're desperate need of some help so they can move back in. Good Lord. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on. This, what is what happened to this door? All right, someone smokes in this house. Cause God, holy, no way. Yeah, no way. Like there's not even a doorknob. Is she renting this place out Ooh. to someone? Her family. Her family lives there. See a few moving around. No way anybody lives here. Even though I brought Mary on this job with me so we could spend some more time together, the truth is she hates roaches. What a good husband. The, dude, they're gonna find more than roaches in this. They're gonna find some roaches, but it ain't gonna be the bug kind. And they're gonna they're gonna find some. <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of things in this house they're gonna find. Holy crap! Yeah. We got into the kitchen, what and the I gotta heck? tell you, we seen some really serious aggressive infestation in there. That dude, is that you're talking about the roaches? Like, the, like wow. look, these roaches are over here eating crack right now. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's about to be whole crackheads in the walls. Yeah, th this place is Ugh. no way, man. That's why they live in the corners. The big ones go up there after a meal. He's over there trying to teach everyone about roaches, and I can't, I can't even pay attention. Gross. Ugh. Gross. That, Pull it back. Oh wow. Yeah, look at that. Look at all that trash. Oh, we're seeing a lot. Good oh. lord, dude. Good lord. They, they just burn this house down. There ain't no saving this house. Right. Burn it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, yeah get the house. Good lord. Like oh my. Scattering. Wow. Mm. I mean, maybe, maybe these dudes do live here. I don't know, man. That's, that's probably why they're outside. <laughs> Could be. Number one problem with cockroaches is pink eye and allergies. Cockroaches give you pink eye? <laughs> wow. These cockroaches right. are literally coming out of all the crevices. Yeah. As you can oh, see, we got ourselves geez, a little dude. bit of a problem here. Wait, what do you, the, the smallest problem is the roaches at this point. Like, this place right. is... 
no, sure the foundation no is way. great here. Yeah, I'm sure there's no asbestos or, you know, there's nothing going on here. So it's all good. <laughs> this place is, you know, uh, once we get these roaches cleaned up, you guys are going to be great living here. Don't worry. Spraying them, spraying them. Now they're Basically, moving. Basically, when I spray these cockroaches, it's going to dry the insect out by dissolving the wax layer on the exoskeleton. And basically, the insect bleeds to death. Jeez. All right. <laughs> Dude, I, have you ever, have I told you about the, the, the easy way to get rid of wasps, like the easy way to kill wasp. Oh, I've seen it. Yeah, I've, I've watched you do it. Oh yeah. So you, I don't remember who even told me about this, uh, but you just get you just get water, like you can get warm water or whatever, and then to get like a uh, dishwashing liquid, like you know the, the squeeze stuff, and it gets soapy, and you just go throw it on them. Yeah. Yep. And they just they go bloop. Yeah, they just I, fall to the ground and die. <laughs> I, I was actually really <clears throat> shocked. I was like, "There's no way that works." And then I watched you chunk a big bowl on that. Yeah, crazy nest that was coming for you guys at the house, and yeah, uh, yep, yep. I just watched them fall to the floor, dude. I was like, <laughs> "Wow!" Yeah, the I'm, power I'm, of I'm, gone. I'm something of a, I'm something <laughs> of an exterminator myself, Dan. You know, I just go out throwing soap Ooh. on them. I think the soap just like coats them, and they can't they like, suffocate. I think that's what happens. Uh, ah. But yes, yeah, so maybe one will fall off. They never do come after you and sting you, though. They just go woo, and they like whoa. <laughs> They're like, whoa, what was that? That was weird. All right, well, then like <laughs> someone will sit on the ground, you get your shoes on, stomp them out, you know? Yep, easy peasy. Okay. It took some doing, but I think I managed to get this roach crisis under control. Debbie's kinfolk nearly abandoned this house. Do they sh pff, uh, nearly abandon this house? <laughs> <laughs> nearly? Whatever. So anyway, I got them all sucked up and everything. <laughs> Things look really good in there for now. Wow, well, that's amazing. I am so appreciative. <laughs> know the way she said that wow that's so amazing and i appreciate it <laughs> secondly is caulk all the cracks and crevices and fix the holes in the wall if they do that it'll definitely help to make sure they don't get reinfested what about all the trash and the food okay whatever you know, he, he, he talked talk about the trash never mind like someone's burning something <laughs> so they took <laughs> this is the <laughs> someone's burning what they something new after they sprayed all the cockroach <laughs> bodies out that's the bag of the vacuum they're still <laughs> burning it thank you vexcon for helping my folks wow well, vexcon like you saved our lives wow we're gonna go back in this house and live in it mm -mm. all right did they catch a beaver oh got... he's so cute oh wow yeah, you look at him yes. he's so cute wow a lucky beaver. What a lucky beaver. This is the fella that's been causing all my trouble, cutting all my trees down. Yep, this is the only beaver that existed here. There's definitely not a family of beavers <laughs> here, just this one beaver. <laughs> sure glad you caught him, Billy. Yeah, I am too. Thanks, Billy. Wow, well, well, Billy, are... let's, let's zoom into the pretty girl. Wow, and you wonder, you wonder Thanks, why his Billy. wife is freaking worried about things. He's out here freaking... Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, little fella, let's go. Let's see how much time he spent on this job. 32 yeah. hours. There are three, it took him three, three weeks. Three weeks? It took him three weeks to catch that beaver. <laughs> they caught the single beaver. They caught dad beaver. The rest of the family, it's, it's fine. Since he does seem so tame, I thought he'd be perfect for a petting zoo. We're going to take him right back wow. where I got him from. <laughs> Good beaver for kids to get up close and personal with. The kids are gonna love this beaver. I'm gonna check the water out. Oh yeah, wow. wild beaver. Just give him a pat. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Anyway, that is oh, Billy the Exterminator. Wow. Holy crap! What? <laughs> oh, what a beast! I got a new favorite show. You want a I beast? got a new favorite show, kid. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> All right. Well, hey. Wow. Hope you enjoyed that. If you want to see more Billy the Exterminator, leave a like on the video, do all that cool stuff. And uh, today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Stay touch my friends. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>